Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. A few years or so ago, I decided to purchase a professional grade sander. When I started researching the options, the only two sanders I found on the market that met my requirements were the Mercaderos and the Festool ETS EC150. I compared the features of both of them as well as their cost, and I decided to get the Merca at that time. At the time, it appeared the Festool sander would be significantly more expensive than the Merca. I don't actually recall how I determined that, but that's what I uncovered and that's why I bought the Merca. Fast forward a few years and I was using my relatively new Merca sander a few weeks or so ago and it died suddenly out of the blue. It wouldn't come on, there was no way to reset it, and it just seemed like it gave up the ghost in the middle of my sanding session. As my Instagram followers know, I was prepping for a craft fair at the time and I had a lot of things to sand. So the timing was, let's just say, inconvenient. I'll leave the whole convoluted story of my repair process with Merca to another day. But while the Merca was out being repaired, I desperately needed to press forward with sanding. I tried using my old five inch sander for a while, but the results just simply were subpar compared to the Merca. So I made the difficult decision to invest in another sander. Rather than facing an early death of another Merca, I chose to purchase the Festool sander. I went all in with the six inch sander and dust extractor. I figured if I was gonna buy into the Festool ecosphere, I would just go all in. So now I have both the Merca and the Festool, and I thought I'd like to give you some of my thoughts, specifically comparing the Merca Daros 5650CV to the Festool ETS EC150-5. On the surface, the two sanders appear to have nearly identical specifications. They both have a six inch sanding capacity, five millimeter stroke, variable speed, Bluetooth, they're low profile, they have an included sustainer, and they also have optional dust filtration. However, there are minor details that separate the tool. The Festool weighs 2.6 pounds or 1.2 kilograms, whereas the Merca weighs 2.4 pounds and 1.1 kilograms. The Festool operates from 6,000 RPMs to 10,000 RPMs, whereas the Merca operates 4,000 RPMs to 10,000 RPMs. The Festool has a dial for speed control, whereas the Merca uses the paddle or some up-down buttons on the top of the sander. The Festool hand grip is 2.8 inches or 72 millimeters round, whereas the Merca's is 3 inches or 76 millimeters round. Finally, the Festool is 4.7 inches or 120 millimeters tall, whereas the Merca is 3.7 inches or 96 millimeters tall. These minor differences might not seem like a big deal, but after a couple months of use, for me, they've become a huge deal. The Merca feels much lighter while sanding, it is a lower profile, and it keeps it from tipping over. When using the Festool, I found it routinely tipping while I was sanding, and a couple instances, I actually created deep gouges in the thing that I was sanding. Secondarily, I found the taller Festool to fatigue my hand more quickly and actually cause some wrist pain after prolonged use. All that said though, the toggle switch on the Festool is a lot easier to use and avoids inadvertent engagement through the paddle. I cannot tell you the number of times that I flipped the Merca over to change sandpaper and it immediately started spinning because of the paddle. Secondarily, I've never actually used the paddle to control the speed. And in fact, I've actually turned that feature off in deference to the buttons on the top to increase or decrease the speed. Another area where the Festool shines is the warranty. Festool offers a 10 year limited warranty versus the Merca's two plus one warranty. Two plus one means two years base and they add an extra year if you register your sander within the 30 days after purchasing. During my recent experience trying to employ the Merca warranty, I was personally bitten by that 30 day clause. If your sander happens to die, say, on the 26th month of ownership, and you know, you're just over that two year limit. And let's just say, for example, that you registered your sander about a year after purchasing it. Well, then maybe you might have to be prepared to pay for some service. Maybe even pay close to $200, for example, to replace all the internal electronics of your sander. You know, just as an example, I'm just saying. Now is a good time to say if you're getting value out of this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. It really does help out the channel. 
All right, now turning our attention to the dust extractors. Once again, they have basic feature parity with each other. They have similar power consumptions, similar filter setups, variable suction, auto on, and an optional automatic filter cleaning setting. However, in the case of dust extractors, the differences are not so minor. The Festel has an airflow of 138 cubic feet per minute versus the Merca's 159 cubic feet per minute. That's a fairly significant increase in suction power for the Merca. Although the two vacuums are rated for nearly the same sound pressure level, the Festel being 71 dB and the Merca being 68 dB, the Merca is noticeably quieter. Merca does specify a working sound level of 60 dB. Festel doesn't specify the working sound level at all, but I can tell you the Merca is significantly quieter across the board under all modes of operation. On the flip side, the Festel sander does separate hose storage from cord storage, which is really nice. Wrapping that unwieldy hose and cord onto an external hook is a huge pain with the Merca. Additionally, the Festo allows you to clip your sustainer on top of the dust extractor where the Merca does not. So plus one for the Festo on that. They both have movable wheels in the front and fixed wheels in the back. I think that design is one of the dumbest ideas I've ever seen and it frustrates the hell out of me. I really wish both companies would catch a clue and fix that. Finally, the Merca vacuum hose has an integrated power cord rather than completely separate like the Festool. I really like that integrated power cord because it is just one less thing you need to worry about while you're sanding. So, where does that leave us in this head-to-head -head comparison? Well, they're both really great sanders and they will both absolutely get the job done. Any preference one over the other will likely come down to one of the many differences. For example, I like how the Merca is lower profile, is a little bit lighter, and has that integrated cord. Although, I do like the toggle switch on the Festool better, but I don't like that toggle switch so much more that I would choose the Festool over the Merca at this time. Conversely, having my sander die after only a few hundred hours of use really makes me question the quality of the Merca product. Additionally, having to pay to get it fixed due to some stupid made up exclusions in the warranty was a giant slap in my face, or a kick in my nether regions if you will. Though I love the Merca and I will continue to use it as my daily driver, I would probably recommend the Festool to anyone who asks. You can't beat the 10 year warranty and they have an entire ecosphere of tools that play well together. For example, if you're considering getting a Rotex or a Domino, then getting the Festool sander is an absolute no-brainer. On the flip side, if you just want a sander and you want to have a little bit of faith <laughs> that it's not going to blow up in the first few months, then the Merca is absolutely an excellent choice. In the end, they are both great sanders and you won't go wrong with either one of them. If you like this video and you got value out of it, please consider sharing the video with someone who might also get value from it. If you're interested in how well I like my fancy new bandsaw, well maybe you might want to check this video out right here. Once again, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for getting this far, and don't forget to be inspired.